Good morning, folks. We've got a lot to cover today. Solar flare, the wildfires, two pieces of eye candy from deep space, an important breakthrough in identifying solar forcing of health conditions and a confirmation of a critically important Earth change via small-scale analysis. We'll start with the last 24 hours on our star. There was one M4-class solar flare with several smaller eruptive events. Minor CME signature expected in the solar wind is present, but it was very weak and magnetically oriented perfectly for deflection by Earth's magnetic field. Top event is the flare here. We'll be monitoring the active regions closely today. Now, let's go to the wildfire smoke, which most of you know is making parts of the Northeast almost unlivable at the moment. This is the fire events as red dots up in Canada with cloud overlay so you can see how the smoke is gathered and delivered southward into the Northeast US. Maybe not done yet, unfortunately. Up next, we're going out into space where we first see interacting galaxies with the smaller one getting its plasma whipped to the side by its recent passage and energetic interaction with the larger galaxy. It's one of the longer streams ever captured at interacting galaxies with the plasma shining in X-ray light due to the excitation. We also have an incredible shot of an exoplanet spewing its contents as it whips closely around a star. The swirling lines are mostly helium ejections from the planet. The big question is, why is this planet pouring itself into space? Up next, folks, we've seen several papers over the years on the correlation between solar activity and multiple sclerosis. Here, they track lifetime rates alongside solar forcing, with the key modulating factor being the exposure of the mother to solar maximum conditions at conception and early gestation, which makes sense in the context of previous studies which had suggested the same thing. Finally, folks, a study on polar summer mesospheric echoes over just the last decade indicates that indeed electron content of the atmosphere is a major player in formation of these radar echoes near the top of the sky. So why does this matter? It matters because on longer time scales, these echoes have been shown to be increasing despite decreasing solar activity, but doing so as Earth's magnetic field weakens, allowing in more space energy and more of that solar forcing. We have hit this in our books, our videos, and our e-magazine in the paper here confirming the electric aspect confirms what we've said before. Their increase over the long term is one of many signs that the ongoing magnetic pole shift is impacting our planet profoundly. Folks, there are two upcoming events of note. First is June 24th, and it's the next Observer event, at Observer Ranch. Tickets found below with the link, and there's also a link to the Minnesota Prepper Expo. I'll be there July 1st giving a talk and hanging out a bit. Would love to see you at one of these events. Shake your hand. Enjoy Observer Time. We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.